Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo 320-15ABR uh, model here. The other model also known as an ADX-S model for this one. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to take it apart and how to can increase the hard drive or replace the hard drive with a solid state drive. You can purchase any solid state drive with 2.5 inch any SSD solid state drive. They don't take any M.2 drive in here, only solid state drive SATA. I would recommend you guys to grab any Crucial brand or Samsung brand, but not any of the Adapta or Kingston brand. Because of this Kingston or Adapta brand or Adata brand, these ones are cheap brands and the durability on these ones are not long. But if you go with a brand which is known as a Crucial or Samsung brand, these are one of the best brands and they will last you longer period of the time. But this client brought it in here. He brought a 240 gig, not even a 250, 240 gig. Uh, what is it called? Adata or Adata brand. So we're gonna install this one and we're gonna remove the mechanical drive. By just installing this one, the performance is gonna just uh, increase by a lot, like a humongous, just from the boot to the desktop, it will be within four to five seconds. And that's just enough to opening the programs, closing down, it will be super fast with this one. All right, with all those said, now we're just gonna power off the laptop completely. Also, before we do this process, you wanna back up your file, documents, everything on an external hard drive. Because once we remove the hard drive and we install the new hard drive in there, you will not have any operating system in this drive you will need to install your proper your own windows 10 hard drive windows 10 windows and i have made a video how to create your windows 10 usb bootable drive i'll leave that link in the video description also i'll make a video how to install the windows 10 properly on a laptop i also leave that link in the video description so the only thing we're going to cover today is how to open it up how to place it with an ssd drive or increase it to a higher Mechanical drive. Tool that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set. I always use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. That means the bits will last you much longer period of the time comparing to other brands. You will need an opening tool. You can get the pro set for this uh, screwdriver set, which they will include your tweezers, opening tools, and many other stuff or just grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening plastics, covers, and many other stuff. You will need a curved tweezers or straight tweezers. I'm gonna use a curved tweezers. Now, on the bottom of the laptop, once you power off, you're gonna realize that there's a whole bunch of screws here. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching these screws. You're gonna start from one corner and you're gonna remove all the screws one by one. Also, if you guys like my videos, I'm helping you guys out. And if you guys have any requests or questions, I always try to answer them. And if you wanna support the channel, you can just simply click that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate it and it will be a great support for me and for my channel. As I always try to educate more people how to do their own service and upgrades and maintenance and everything else. And it would be a really nice thing if people could just click like and support the channel just for the return. All right, once you remove all the screws, what you need to do is to grab the DVD drive caddy here and slide it out. Now, you want to open up the laptop about 45 degree. And you want to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. Just force it in there. And now you just want to twist it. Do all around toward the right and left side. Once you did right and left side, you're just gonna feel like the cover is falling down. Just put it upside down, uh, face down again. 
make sure you grab it from the corner where the DVD drive is in the front corner from here first. Lift it up here and then lift up the back corner on the other side. Lift up in like this in an angle and then shove it or push it towards the USB ports on the other side. Just like that. So you can just scoop out all these uh, plastics under the USB jacks in here. So if you try to pull it up from here, you're going to bend the motherboard or you can damage the USB ports or you can just break down these tiny uh, bridges right here. All right, with that said, now you're going to see the hard drive, the mechanical drive right in front of you in here. To remove this hard drive, there is no screws or anything for it. All you need to do is push this jack here, this one inward a little bit and then lift it up. Don't lift it up all the way up, bring it in 45 degree angle and then just pull it out in 45 degree angle. Because this jack has a little hinge in there, it can just rotate. So remember the orientation for the SATA and the power connector is in this one so it's not that way around, otherwise it will not go through. Now you will need the caddy that holds the hard drive in place, this caddy doesn't have any screw. All you need to do is keep the orientation for the pins. The longer pin on this side, the short one, the SATA, is on this side. You want to remove the caddy just by removing this plastic here. Just pull it to one side and remove this. Okay, the tiny, tiny clips that goes into the screw holes. Take it out. Grab this one here. Bring it over. Bring it over. And just open it a little bit and shove it right there. And Shove it right there. This one it is kind of bent, I guess. Uh -huh. There you go. Now it's in its place. Now you want to grab it in 45 degree angle, just open it up and slide it right under the jack. Find your way to push it in there and make sure it goes right, clicks right in there and then push it towards the case. And this one doesn't hold it, I don't know why. Even the original one, the Clip is supposed to hold it down, push it down, but it stays on top. I don't know. But that doesn't make any effect on anything because uh, there's a little sponge here to hold it down. So it's the same thing. Leave it like that. Once you finish with that, just grab the... You don't need to disconnect the battery for guts. You don't need to disconnect the battery at all to do this upgrade. It's useless. Now all you need to do is to grab the USB port side and HDMI port side and you want to scoop it down in a 45 degree angle. Just scoop it right under the port. Make sure it's right under the port. Hold it down. Release the other side. Bring it and push down the cover. Make sure you hear a few clicks. You should hear those clicks. Once you hear those, just grab the bottom cover. Bring it over and slide it all the way in. And the last thing down here will be to smack down all the screws on the bottom case. I'm just going to screw down one or two so I can have enough time to keep this video short to show you how to actually select a USB drive, your Windows 10 USB boot. And to follow the exact instruction for the properly in the steps of Windows 10 installation, just follow my other video. I just want to quickly cover up how to boot it up from here. So let's just put the hinge screws down first, then I'll go back later on after the video to place down the rest of the screws. So you're going to grab the USB Windows 10 and you want to get right in the any of the port and grab the charger, plug in the charger. Now this screen is really reflective, so I'm going to try to see if I turn on a few lights off so maybe you guys can see. So if I turn that one off and this one off, let's see how much it's going to reflect. Not that much. All right. So what happens once you put the USB boot drive in there, as soon as you turn on, it's going to say there's no boot media. You want to go inside the BIOS and you want to activate F12 boot menu selection. So when you power on, keep pressing F2 or function F2 or F2, just keep tapping on those two. So pretty much I'm right now here putting my finger, just going to play a piano. Just hold down on F2 and power on and it should take you to a BIOS. So 
Let's see if it's going to take me to BIOS. Yep, and there we are. We are inside the BIOS right now. Once you're inside the BIOS, you want to go ahead and look for, go to the configuration tab using an arrow key. And in here, you should see F12 power. I don't see any power key F12. Let's go to the other one, secure boot. Everything is okay. So we go to the boot, fast boot, UEFI, everything is okay. So on this model, uh, you don't have to activate F12, it's, it comes pre activated. Or if it does in yours, you might see it right under one of these options. You should say F12 boot, and you from disable, you're gonna put enable. But if yours doesn't show up in here, that means it's automatically enabled. So just go exit and save changes okay yes and now you just want to once you restart keep tapping on that f12 keep tapping on f12 until you see a boot menu you see that beep that it did that's the boot menu once you are inside the which it says boot menu you want to go down the scroll it says your hard drive which is an adapter and you want to go down to the USB, the USB name is this one, and you just want to click enter. Now it's going to start booting up from my USB drive, which I have my Windows 10 image in there. And to follow the exact uh, procedure of installation, follow any of my video that I install Windows 10, and I'll show you exactly how to install it without installing all the blood words that you get at the end of the Windows, which is Candy Crush, McAfee, all those. You don't want all those garbage inside the Windows. So to prevent that, follow the links on my video description on how to install the Windows. So from here on, everything is the same as the rest of the videos. You're just gonna choose your language and the rest just click next, next, and it should go there. The key is to not connect to the internet. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.